Yeah. Today we are going to uh, discuss about the scales concept. Okay. Uh, do you remember the info record? What is the use of info record? The info record we maintain a validity date of the price, bro. Yeah, that's yes, right. Vendor giving giving some price to the material which we are procuring the materials, right? So. In the info record also, we can maintain some scales uh, over info record. Actually, uh, let me share my screen. Are you able to see my screen? Yes, bro. Yeah. Material, for example, is 100. Let me give a simple example so that you can understand better. Way. Uh, uh, could you please um, unmute your uh, voices, please? Has it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could you please mute? Uh... Yeah. See, it's something like the lot. Let us take uh, Bell is the vendor. Okay. He supply um, for vendor price is 100 rupees for material X, for example. Material is X. And we maintained info record. For hundred rupees, okay. Okay. For info record, we maintain this hundred rupees. Now vendor is saying like this. If you order. quantity 1000 rupees then the price will be 100 rupees okay something like up to up to 1000 rupees it is 100 rupees okay up to i will let's say zoom up to. okay and the same quantity from 1000 rupees onwards, I mean like from 1001 onwards, if you order from 1001 quantity onwards, the price will be 90 rupees. And if you order greater than 2000, the price will be something like a, a 85 rupees. Okay. Let's assume if we order uh, greater than 3000 quantity, the price will be 80 rupees. The vendor is saying the terms and condition like this, they will be giving some price discount based on the quantity. So that this based on the scales concept, we can maintain these prices in info record. Okay, you understand, right? How the scales is using uh, or the info record based on the quantity. If yeah. you buy a bulk quantity uh, in any uh, regular shops, we get the, some discounts, right? If you are buying in a bulk quantity, uh, no. yeah. okay, they're not buying thousands actually. Maybe it's 10,000, maybe it's uh, 20,000. Let's take 30,000, okay. Okay. 
up to 10,000, the cost is 100 rupees. If it is greater than 10,001, I mean, if it is greater than 10,000, then the price will be 90 rupees. If it is greater than 20,000, it will be 85 rupees. If it is greater than 30,000, it will be 80 rupees. Okay. You got it now? Any questions? No bro. bro. Yeah. No bro. No, no bro. Yeah, okay. Uh, let me show you this concept in SAP, okay? Let me log into SAP system quickly. Let me create one new material. Basic data one, basic data two, purchasing, storage location one, storage location two, Q, counting, enter, something like That's the each and adding the metal group as mechanical and its weight is 10 kg, 9 kg. Purchasing group, we need to maintain purchasing group. Enter. Person. If it's right. Variation class is three thousand. Let's say it's five thousand rupees. Okay. Okay, the material was created. Let me create one new vendor. Create your one. So company code, team out, purchasing organization, DMPO, EVAC, account group, take its uh, domestic vendor, some street name, some postal code, Okay, so I forgot. India. Number of the age. If you have any telephone number, just give it. Add. Enter. Cancellation account, cash management group, payment terms, double check invoice, order currency, NMRS, terms of payment. If you're having any you know, order value is 100, having you need to check GR invoice verification, no element required, auto PO. Okay, enter, save. So the vendor was created. Uh, 
Tam na chwilę. Okay. Let us create one info record. What is the T code for info record creation? Hello. Hello. What is the T code for M double one? Tell me. Double one. Yeah. Me double one. Need to give the vendor and metal number, purchasing organization point. What is our plan? TPL one. Let me give plan of one day. Channel count is 100. And it is also 100. Let's take 1000 is the price. Quotation. Okay, info record also created. Okay, this is the info record was created. Let's go to the change mode here. Go to conditions tab. Okay, if you go to condition tab, we can see the valid from is from today's date because we created today, right? And go to select this button. I mean. Put the cursor at here and click on choose. Okay. You see, valid from 31, 2022, today's date to valid from some next date, right? Uh, let us take uh, for one month 32, 28 February. is being changed okay yeah i changed it to uh, february uh, last day 28 and vendor is uh, maintained the price for 1000 rupees okay just select the line item you can see that price just select it and head here you can see the scales button right just click on it In scales, we're having three types. Okay. One is from scale. Second one is to scale. Okay. Third one is range scale. From scale means from 10,001 onwards, the price will be 90 rupees. From 2,001 onwards, I mean, sorry, 20,001 onwards, 85 rupees. From 30,001 onwards, from 30,001 onwards, 80 rupees. Okay. That is the type of class is from. Two scale means it is up to. Okay. See. Up to 10,000, the price will be 100 rupees. If you maintain up to, means up to 10,000, it is taking as 100 rupees. From greater than 10,000 rupees, it will not take any prices. Okay, if you maintain like that. That is the difference between up to scale and from scale. The range scale. Range scale means uh, like 100,000 uh, to 2,000 will be one price, like 100 rupees or 2000 to 3000 is uh, 90 rupees like that they will maintain some range scale okay first let us uh, try with from scale after that we will do the remaining scenarios also. okay these are the types of scales available let us take okay you can see the scale quantity here let me go back again. Select the price. Click on scales button. You can see scale quantity. But what is this uh, scale basis? Is? Just, you can see scale type as from right. 
just put the cursor here click on details that here you can see right scale type as base scale a a base scale means from okay just understand like this it is base scale base scale means from scale okay bs base l two scale means up to and c means not used anything d graduated to interval scale means range scale okay let us go with from scale first let me selecting as base scale go back go to scales button again let me maintain from 10000 quantity onwards okay from 10000 quantity onwards the price will be something like 990 rupees from uh, 20000 let us give 20000 let us give 15000 now 15000 onwards and the price will be 980 rupees 20000 from 20000 onwards the price will be 970 rupees okay we maintain like this just click on save the price got saved. Now let us create a PO. Slash OME21N. What is the vendor number? First vendor is two. the vendor number. What is the material number? Cam shop. Let me go with the uh, 10,000 quantity. Just plan DPL1, S1, enter. See, it is uh, when I enter 10,000, it taken 990 rupees, right? Where it got taken? Let's move to the info record. This is the info record number. See, this is the info record number. Let me double click, go to conditions. Let us see, go and see the scales. See, you can see right from 10,000 quantity onwards, the price will be 990 rupees. And let me decrease one quantity. Let's see how the SAP is uh, reacting. Let me decrease 9999. Okay, enter. See, it has taken 1000 rupees because we maintained from 10,000 onward the price will be 990. I mean, less than 10,000, it will be 1000 rupees. Okay, let me create it with 20,000. Sorry, 15,000. Enter. It's take 980, right? See, 980 rupees. If I enter 14 triple nine, it take 990 rupees on. If I take 20,000, it will take 970 rupees. See how it, how it is changing the price because we maintain scales in info record. Do you understand, right? Any questions? No, bro. No, bro. Vendor is giving uh, the discount 
in price life if you buy the bulk quantity i will give you the this much uh, uh quant i mean this much price of discount for you so if you are buying bulk it is benefit for you like that the vendor is saying so if the company wants to buy a bulk quantity then it is uh, benefit for both of you because vendor is getting a bulk order so it will be uh, in profitable position and also uh, the company will be getting the materials with a better price so that company also be benefited so we check from from scale right let us go with uh, to scale now let me go to the change in for record any call Go to conditions, choose the first period. Select it. Go to scales again. How to change this scale type? Now, I want to change to scale. How we can do? Go to the details. Bro. Go to details. Then we can change the scale type over here. Let's select as to scale now. Go to the scales. See the scales type was changed. So now up to ten thousand, not from ten thousand up to ten thousand, the price will be nine ninety rupees. Then up to fifteen thousand, the price will be. Nine eighty rupees. Okay, up to twenty thousand. I mean, like from fifteen thousand, twenty thousand means it will be taking nine hundred rupees like that. Okay, let us see. Let us now slash O M E twenty one N. Ninety thousand nine hundred rupees. If I take fifteen thousand nine eighty rupees, let us take conditions. See, up to twenty thousand. It will be nine hundred rupees. Up to means here fifteen to twenty thousand. Okay, up to means if you take uh, below fifteen thousand, I mean like in between ten thousand to fifty thousand. If you buy, the price will be nine hundred eighty rupees. See, up to it is taking up to fifteen thousand. Uh, let's take ten thousand one. It takes only the nine eighty rupees only. See. If I remove one and place a zero, it will take nine seventy rupees. Sorry, nine ninety rupees. You got it right. How two scale works? Let us check with the range scale now. Let me change to range scale.
Click on choose. Sorry. Okay, uh, I think we need to define one condition type for the rain scale. Okay, uh, I think uh, if you want to uh, know about the condition type, uh, we have a, a concept called pricing processor. Okay, during the pricing processor, I will explain you about the condition types. I will define that the condition types, okay? Today, let us create with uh, from and up to, okay? The concept of the main Miko. How we are going oh, yeah. to use from from uh, scale and uh, up to scale, and uh, we can also use the uh, range scale, but it is asking the condition type. So we are having some concept called pricing processor. In the pricing processor, we can define the different kinds of condition types over there. So I will show you when we are discussing about the pricing processor. I think within two days we will be going to to the configuration of pricing processor. The next topic is called uh, output type determination. And after the output type determination, I will tell you about the pricing processor concept. During the pricing processor concept, I will explain you about the condition types. We are having uh, this condition type as PB00 right here. You can see the condition type PB00. This is the standard condition type we use. But if you want to use the range scale, we need to define uh, one more uh, condition type over here. I will uh, tell you on the pricing processor concept, how the condition type will be defined, how it is going to plays a key role uh, in pricing processor, how the pre pricing conditions are came up automatically. Like that, uh, we're having a concept pricing processor. I will tell you on the, uh, I mean, I mean, I will tell you on the particular concept. Okay. Have any questions? No. Yeah. No, bro. If you go for uh, in purchase order, we have a condition tab actually. At here, we can see the prices. These are all condition type. These prices came from the pricing processor. If you drag down, in case you see the analysis, if you click on analysis. See, this is called pricing processor, where we can have different type of conditions. PB00 is gross price and uh, surcharges, vendor discount. You can see, right? These are come under pricing processor. What is right charges? Like uh, during the uh, vendor will send the goods, right? 
during that uh, he will provide some transport right uh, we are uh, so that vendor charging some freight charges transportation charges and customs if you are doing some import procurement if you are procuring from other countries we need to clear the customs okay so like that we are having uh, different kind of condition types so likewise we need to define one condition type for uh, this uh, uh, range range uh, scale type okay if i tell you right now you will be little bit confused in state so let us discuss during the pricing process or concept idaithe meek ardham ayindi kada from scale to scale how we are going to use yeah it's chaala chinna concept idi pedda avasaram ledhu ante chaala rare ga ne use chestaru idi జనరల్లీ డిస్కౌంట్స్ అనేది బెండర్ ఎప్పుడు మనం ప్రైసింగ్ ప్రైస్ మోస్ట్లీ ప్రైస్ మెయింటైన్ చేస్తాం స్కేల్స్ చాలా రేర్గా యూస్ చేస్తారు బిజినెస్ ప్రాసెస్ లో 